<clears throat> hey, it's Sunday, October 9th, and we're in Badlands uh, National Park. It's really cool here, man. It's worth a stop. It's kind of expensive. It costs you 30 bucks to get in and like $25 a night. But <clears throat> hey there. Uh, so <clears throat> when we had the fiasco with the uh, exploding tire on the on the Volkswagen Tiguan, which I could show you the recovery on that. I guess I should. I just got done uh, with a little minor touch up. So all the black stuff that was around here was just like melted rubber crud. It came off easily with gasoline. And uh, there was a little spot right there where the metal was exposed from the tire hitting that it, the, the fender liner is missing from there and then the uh, the paint got abraded. So I went and bought some Flex Seal, which by the way is a fabulous undercoat. It's very strong stuff, better than the undercoat that I bought. The Rust-Oleum undercoating sucks. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this uh, plastic piece of trim needs to be replaced. It's all broken and probably the back bumper and the mud flap and the fender liner but all right let's get back to the point so uh when i was airing up the tires <clears throat> uh after that fiasco uh i was airing up this guy <clears throat> and uh the valve stem was malfunctioning and uh, these valve cores have a little red plastic cover on them on the inside piece of it it's like a filter and these valve cores came with these valve caps which came with the balancing beads that are inside the wheel they're glass beads that balance the wheel while you drive and you don't need to uh, mess around ever getting your wheels balanced and they continually balanced and I could vouch for them, they were great. But that little plastic cover piece broke off and is inside the valve stem here. And it's stuck in there. And the problem is it stops the valve core from closing. It hits it and knocks it sideways or something, I don't know. So I was just kind of in a tizzy the other day trying to get air in this tire so I aired it up a little high and then I put the cap on it, but I'm not happy at all with it malfunctioning. So uh, I thought the problem was that the plastic thing broke off in there because, well, because it wasn't on the valve core when I took the valve core out. I went and changed this with another one and the other one I put in there did the same thing. So I need to try to fish that little piece out of there or jam it in all the way into the tire and then we'll be golden here. And I'm thinking I might leave this thing pointed out like it is. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. All right, let's see if I can get that out. So, oh yeah, what I did is I went to Napa Auto Parts and I bought a spring just so I'd have some kind of a wire. This is hard metal, pretty hard metal. And uh, we're going to try to fish that thing out of there with this, if we can. Gosh, it popped right out. All right. All right. I'll show you what this looks like when it's installed. Okay. That's what it looks like when it's installed. But somehow or another, when I was filling up the tire, it popped off the end. And that makes me feel pretty uncomfortable about these things. It might do this to me again. So what I'm going to do is take that off and install this core. See, it's, it's there for a reason. It's there to filter out the glass beads so a glass bead won't um, get up into the valve itself. Where'd you go? The ceiling part of the valve itself and give you trouble, but 
it caused trouble. So evidently those little slots are smaller than the glass beads that are in there. All right, so now the only concern is that I could air this tire up since the bead is not seated. And I'm gonna have to use the old starter fluid thing, which is pretty scary. 